Friendly greetings. I am Torley Linden, the wise holiday turtle. <laughs> and today, very much in the spirit of the season, I am going to show you how to set multiple permissions easier. You may already be familiar that if you right-click an object and edit it, you can set permissions one at a time. For example, this is a holiday box. These are holiday boxes. I know this is a fact because they're green and red. And I can set it to copy and modify. And I say I also want to allow anyone to copy it, okay? And also show it in search. They can come right over and get it. It's free. But there is a problem here, and that problem comes when you're trying to do this with object after object after object. So many clicks and moves of your hand that are wasted. Wouldn't you like to be able to set these all at once? Well, good news is you can. So I click on the first one, and I hold shift key, and you see there's a nice yellow glow so I can get them all in one go. Now these are all selected, and I can change these permissions for all of them. There we go. There we go. And con kind of continuing off my tip of the week from last week is show and search. You can set this to opt in and out for multiple objects at once. So I can select all of them and hide them from search. And that will take a day or a little more than that to show up under general circumstances. But what happens, for example, if there's something which is a little different and I want to set all of them? Well, what you're going to see is if I select all these again, you're going to see they look grayed out but they are clickable. See, they, they have a little highlight, unlike this one, which I can't change over here. So if I check copy, it's going to turn off for all of them. So it's off for all of them. Now I click it again, and it's on for all of them. Off, then on. And if I want to show all of them in search, which I do, then I click that. And I can confirm this by clicking on each individual box and looking at the permissions. You see that has all of them, all of them, all of them, and all of them, just like that. Now you may be curious, what about things in your inventory that can't be resed out, like textures and note cards and scripts? Well, the bad news is, unfortunately, you can't just all batch set them like this, but the good news is there is an easier way. So you see here, I've opened my inventory, and I right click and I choose properties in one, and you can select, you know, just click. And I often have done this with hundreds of textures, making them copy and modifiable free, and fully permissive. So what you can do in this case is I hold on shift and I click, you know, this one's highlighted. I click at the end of a selection. If you want to be more selective, you hold down control instead. So I hold down control and say, I don't want these ones. But the principle of it is just let me select the first shift and all. And here's what happens. I right click and I choose properties. And now I see that this is kind of tabbed. It is tabs. It's like your IM, your IM tabs, instant message, like in the communicate window. See in the communicate window? Ooh, nice of him to say that. Uh, yes, yeah, so you got tabs right there and you got tabs right here. So what I do now, remember you got keyboard and mouse and you can use both at once to maximize your benefits here. So I want to set all these to be fully permissive. Copy and modify and instead of clicking that close, use Control W. File menu, close window, or in this case, it closes a window which within a window, which is a tab. Now watch. See? Copy, modify, close. Copy, modify, close. Voila. Just like that makes it so much faster and efficient. If you're not familiar with it, give it a try and keep on doing it. The more you do it, the better about it you'll feel. I do guarantee. That's what worked for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to ride along with the snowman family now and hope you enjoyed these tips on how to set multiple permissions. This is Torley Linden wishing you a happy holidays in advance. <laughs> Hi-de-ho!